I'll tell you what, say what you want about Jerry Anderson Productions, but he knew, or rather the people he worked with, knew how to make a rousing theme tune. I mean, I'm not sure if any of you watched it, it's probably before your time and not of your locale, but 20 years ago there was a situational comedy show called Spaced, and uh, why did I carefully enunciate that? Who knows? Anyway, in Spaced there was the avant-garde artist who lived downstairs, and he was very depressed, um, as artists are wont to do, and uh, the guy, Nick Frost, Nick, I think his name's Nick Frost, he, um, uh, he take, because depressed artist is, uh, listening to a tape of screaming and crying, he takes the tape out and puts in a cassette with the Thunderbirds theme tune and motivates him to go out on the night in the town with him. And uh, we were thinking about that today because I've not been too motivated. I've, uh, as some of you may know, I am a victim of insomnia. It's not fun, um, and uh, I got to sleep around about four o'clock last night. Woke up at nine because that's when my alarm, my, my my alarms went off. I had two alarms. I somehow managed to semi-consciously extinguish both alarms, and then ah, I know what I've got to do. I've got to put one of the alarms out of arm's reach so that I actually have to get out of bed to turn it off and hopefully I'll be like oh well I'm standing up now I might as well get dressed let's see if that works yeah um, but anyway I, I, I just I turned the alarms off and then I went back to sleep and I woke up at 12 which is what I've been um, waking up at the past few few weeks got an appointment um, tomorrow half past nine so I thought right I'm going to reset my sleep pattern um, I was a bit optimistic I should have done it in half hour increments but hey ho uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be waking up at eight o'clock well yeah if I wake up at eight o'clock tomorrow it won't take that long to get there surely uh, yeah, it's about half an hour's drive. So I wake up at eight o'clock, then aim to be out of the door by at latest nine o'clock, preferably quarter to quarter to nine. Yeah, forty-five minutes will be enough for me to get up and do my morning routine. I'm trying to I'm trying to justify it to myself because it's like, what well, do you want to wake up eight o'clock or do you want to wake up at half seven? Because I know what I'll do at half seven. I'll just be staying in bed, look, scrolling through my phone and uh, procrastinating. Anyway, insomnia is not fun. Don't get it. If you have got it, you have my sympathies. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, right. I did watch my video last time. I was far too optimistic on when to put the uh, the log on. So um, let's just let's just let that burn for a bit. This kindling sounds nice and dry. I'm not hearing any. Not hearing any steam. No, tell a lie. There is a little hiss there. 
and I'm not sure, can you see there's a bit of a shine on the uh, broken uh, iron strap? That might be, uh, that might be from one of the sticks. As you can see, the fire hasn't been too hot because this stuff, oh, okay, well, that's dry. That's good to know. Um, but these ones, they're still uh, still flexible. If I did that with the dry one, it would split in half. But at least this one's dry. Okay, so that's good to know. That's my fire, fire starter for tomorrow, then. reading a post by someone claimed to be John the Baptist. Uh, hang on. Is John the Baptist and Saint John two different people? One of the disciples of Jesus called uh, John, and he says he's back, and according to him the tribulations don't start until 2026. Um, which I was a bit disappointed with. My hope was that the tribulations have already begun so we've only got another five years to get, to go through. Um, oh well. Probably not the first person to think it's the end of days. Probably not. I hope they have fires in the afterlife. Trying to make that fall gently. Will this snuff out the fire if I put it on? Nope. That's a pretty good fire. Hmm. Look at that, it leaves, uh, it leaves a mark on it. Oh yeah, it's smoky. I'd say we've got ourselves a fire, lads. Thanks for watching. Go away.